this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven and welcome to my nursery room window. So today I have Katie Lynn with me and I'm going to be changing her into a brand new little summer dress that just came in about a week ago. And I'm pretty excited about it because it's, um, it's in different shades of blue, two different shades of blue and it's just really, really pretty. And um, it just goes beautifully with her big blue eyes. And so I'm going to go ahead and set her down here for just a moment. And she can hold her little kitty cat toy while I show you what we're going to be changing her into today. There we go. So this is her dress. And I just got done ironing it because um, it, was, it was kind of wrinkled when it came in, although it was packed very carefully. Um, but as you can see, it's got different shades of blue. It's got a lighter blue around the waistline. And then um, this is a, like a dark navy blue. And this is, you know, the same color of light blue. And then the um, dark navy trim at the bottom. It's got a cute little um, pleated Peter Pan collar. No sleeves. And it's got a zipper down the back, which is nice. And then the um, the little bow in the back actually unbuttons right there so that I can slip her right into it. And then it buttons right back up. So I think this is just really a cute design. Um, it's by Jim Burry. And then the rest of the things that she's going to be changed into, this is the, um, the onesie that, that I'm going to be putting underneath. And it, um, you know, it's just almost the same color of blue as the light blue stripes. And it's got pretty little um, uh, lace edging with a little bow in the front there. And then for her shoes, um, she's going to be wearing these canvas uh, slip-on shoes. And I thought they'd go really cute with this dress. Pretty satin bows. And then just plain white socks. <clears throat> they do have a... A design, sort of a scallop design around the edging, but um, I didn't want to do anything fancy for her socks today because her, you know, her dress and her shoes are pretty um, kind of fancy. And then her earrings are going to be these pretty earrings that are um, blue with um, rhinestones in the middle, and then these pretty white uh, cutout bows. So that's going to be her outfit for today, and. Um, Let's go ahead and get started. So I've been very, very busy these last uh, couple of days. We finally got our, gar our garden in. Um, we put the garden in on Sunday. And um, it was an all-day job. We went out uh, fairly early in the morning. And uh, for us, anyway. <laughs> and we didn't get done until, I guess it was close, close to 4 o'clock or so in the afternoon. Um, but we got everything uh, rototillered. Um, my husband has a little, tra uh, not a little tractor, but it's a, it's a small size tractor compared to the, the, the big, huge uh, tractors that a lot of guys have when they have a huge farm. But anyway, he used that tractor um, to rototill the garden. And um, for those of you who don't know what rototilling is, it's actually... Um, there's a blade that's underneath the machine, underneath the tractor that's located um, underneath there, and it, it twirls around and it and it digs the ground up. And what I thought I would do, because I did take um, video of my husband uh, yesterday when or on Sunday when he was rototilling, I went ahead and um, I took a video, and so I want to go ahead and insert insert that right now. Um, for you to see. And I did turn the sound off because it's a very loud machine, um, but you'll get to see the basic idea of how it works. And here it is. So here's Hubby, and he's working the ground up with the rototiller. And um, I wanted to let you know also that uh, there was a lot of pre work that I had to do in the garden because, uh, you know, I still had. Um, old plants in there from last year and I had to get out all the tomato cages and such and so while he was working on getting uh, putting that piece of equipment on the back of his tractor which is the rototiller 
um, I was pulling up plants and digging out weeds. So I'm focusing in on the rototiller so that you can see the blades. Um, hopefully you can see the blades, but there's a whole bunch of blades in there. And what they do is they dig really deep down into the soil um, to make it perfect for planting. And now what I was doing um, while he was doing the rest of that is I wanted to show you my peonies plants. And these first few uh, bushes are the pink peonies. And um, there's one that's um, almost fully bloomed right now. Um, the rest of them are in buds, but I should expect to see uh, full blooms in a, the next week or so, within this week, I would guess. And I have two white peonies plants, this one and the one on, um, further on. And I was trying to focus in on the flowers, but um, it was a really kind of a bright day off and on, kind of a cloudy bright day, and so it was hard to get them in focus. So um, I wanted to show those, um, and the wind kept blowing them too, so it was really, it was kind of hard to get the peonies plants in today, but, um, but here they are. And so next is uh, my hubby is finishing up the, the last row of the garden. And what he will do is he will um, go around one more time um, to make sure that everything's all dug up very nicely. So I hope you enjoyed that little clip. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, it's kind of a fun thing to do, but it also is, uh, you know, he, he has to be pretty precise with, uh, you know, how he places the tractor wheels and the blade and everything. So um, it's, a, it's a lot of work, but it's also, it's fun for me to watch. <laughs> so I just stand back and watch him do his thing and, uh, you know, and I take videos and I take pictures and things like that. Uh, I also included a short clip of my, the peonies uh, bushes that I've been talking about that are, um, they're kind of in, in, bud right now and um, probably within the next week or so they're going to be fully bloomed out. Now the white ones are doing really well. They're always the first ones to bloom and then the pretty pink ones they come out a little bit later but right now everything is um, in the pink ones and the white ones both everything is budding and ready to go because our weather's been so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, um, I also wanted to show a picture of the plants that I got um, before we put them in the ground. I thought it would be pretty, pretty uh, cute picture to show. And so I'm going to go ahead and insert that picture right now. So as you can see, there's only six plants of each. Um, there's cherry tomatoes and there's, um, they're called um, giant marscani peppers and they're a sweet pepper. So um, I'm really happy to have those. I love those peppers. I've said that over and over again, but they're really, really awesome to cook with. So um, <laughs> Katie Lynn, she's got that happy little smile. And every time I do something with her, I'm pulling her hair out of her um, ponytails, but um, we'll be fixing her up a bit later. So yeah, um, I just I wanted to show you guys some video and some clips to sh to show you um, you know how our garden starts out and the kind of the work that we do to get it going and um, it's amazing uh, once it starts growing and and everything you know um, it's it's really fun for me to see the progress so yeah um, then oh another big job that I have to do now now my job isn't over. Once I get the garden planted, um, the next thing that I have to do is water the garden, and I water it. Uh, right now, I'm going to be watering it every day because the weather is just getting warmer and warmer, and we're not going to get rain until, um, I think, a couple of more days. And so I'll be watering the garden. Oh, I wanted to show you this. Um, has a has a beautiful... Um, like a trico skirt under it, a little slip under it, which makes it, you know, stand out. This is just really a cute little girly girly dress. This perfect for my little girly girl. But yeah, watering my garden is really an ordeal because the 
the spigot to the hose is not right next to the garden. Um, it's located at the farmhouse, um, and the other side of the farmhouse. And so what happens is um, we have a, a really long hose that we had to, to get in order for it to um, stretch all the way from the farmhouse all the way over to the garden. So, um, and since it's so long, I have to, un I have to unwind the hose and, um, you know, uh, it's, it's a heavy hose and it, you know, it's, it's, it takes a lot of wrist power. <laughs> and, uh, so that's what I have to do every day, uh, unwind the hose, take it way over to where the garden area is, and then what, you know, water the, the garden and then bring it back and, and rewind the hose. And that's a big job. It's, it's like, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, wrist work and stuff. So we'll see how, how long my wrists <laughs> last this summer. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and lay Katie Lynn down and I want to put on her little bloomers. So I'm going to put those on. Because I thought these these bloomer, bloomers that she was wearing, I thought they would go really cute with this outfit too. She's sort of being in blue and white today. Not even sort of being, she is being blue and white today. <laughs> but these bloomers, they you know what? They fit her the best out of all of my baby dolls. And so, um, you know, I'm really glad that I got this size of, um, of bloomers. When I first got them, it was a few years back. Uh, they didn't fit. You know, they looked smaller in the in the photo, and they said that they were like a newborn size. But actually, they're more of a three to six month size because that's what Katie Lynn is, three to six months. And then let's see. I guess what I'll do next is put her shoes on. And I think these shoes are going to look really, really cute. So yeah, I've been um, I've been really busy and um, with the garden, and I'll, um, it's going to be a busy summer with gardening and weeding, and but it's nice to have another project to do. I I don't mind it at all. And then today is Taco Tuesday, so we'll be making our tacos tonight, and um, so yeah. That's a busy meal to make too. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of little ingredients that goes into making the tacos, as you all know, that make your your tacos. Okay, let's go ahead and sit her up and put the rest of her accessories on. What do you think? She looks pretty cute in that dress. Look at how full the skirt is. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm such a girly girl myself that. Um, it's really fun to to find uh, girly girl clothes for my my little girls, and just as fun, I'll tell you what um, they're making. They make the cutest little boy clothes, and uh, when my son was growing up, they didn't have that cute of boy clothes, and uh, but they're really darling these days. So that's always nice too. Yeah, we put her little ponytails in. Yeah, she has really, really nice hair. Really, really nice. Very shiny, very soft. See if I can get this rubber band. It's kind of, uh, I'm going to get another rubber band because that rubber band is just, what's happening with that one was that it was all stretched out. And so I'm going to go ahead and find another one here. There you go. Yeah, these rubber bands are really nice. They're not rubber. They're actually a sort of silicone. Um, Someone asked me uh, in a comment where I get where I got them from, and I don't recall where I got them from. 
um, it might have, like, because I do online shopping, and I also um, shop for accessories at Dollar Tree, so I'm not sure where I got them. It, probably because of the fact that it came in this box and stuff. My guess is it, um, I got it online from somewhere, because I don't believe that Dollar Tree would um, have something that nice, you know, for a dollar is what I mean. But they do have um, they do have nice accessories, uh, hair accessories, and other things too. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Make sure that we're all on an even keel here. Let's see. <laughs> all right. There we go. All right. So. Next thing, we'll put her bows in, and then we'll put her earrings in. Yeah, she looks pretty. She looks pretty in white. You know, there's, um, I'm a person that doesn't look nice in white because of my skin tone is, is kind of pale, but she's got this, um, sunshine, I don't know, um, like suntan, light suntan skin tone, and she looks really pretty in lighter colors, I think, so. Okay, I think she's all done. All ready to go. So there's her whole outfit and her, her, hu her huge skirt. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so big and full. And then there's her little shoes right there. Looks really cute. So um, that's all I was going to share for now. Um, hope you're all having a good week. And um, thanks for visiting. And until we meet again, bye-bye.